The following video contains content created by Monty Ohm and is distributed by Rooster Teeth. Please support the official release. It is time. Yes. Hello everybody, this is Swaverly and it is time for another Unleashed Reaction. We are doing more Ruby today. Yes, Rooster Teeth finally approved my other video and unblocked it from viewing, so now I can record my next one, Ruby Volume 2, Chapter 2, it called Welcome to Beacon. So let me just do this real quick. Ooh, okay. Oh god, those airships are so freaking awesome. You could tell the budget really went up on this one. There's so much more detail and shadows and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, clouds! Pretty clouds! Oh, wow. He's like uh, oh, Dumbledore's so office almost. His like... work wherever he travels. Well, running an academy in a military makes him a busy man. But yes, those are a bit of an eyesore. Come in. Ozpin! Hello, General. Please, drop the formalities. <laughs> it's been too long. And Glinda, it has certainly been too long since What's we the lost. Band-aid above his eyebrow. Oh, James. Oh! Well, she hasn't changed a bit. So, what in the world has brought you all the way down from Atlas? Headmasters don't typically travel with their students for the oh, Vital Festival. Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Besides, oh, with you hosting making himself an Irish coffee, I see. For us to catch up. I can certainly appreciate quality time between friends. However, the small fleet outside my window has me somewhat concerned. Well, concern is what brought them here. I understand travel between kingdoms has become increasingly difficult. Oz, okay. you and I both know why I brought those men. We are in a time of peace. Shows of power like this are just going to give off the wrong impression. But if what Crow said is true, then... If what Crow said is true... Oh yeah, I found out that Q-R-O-W is pronounced Crow. <laughs> a time to celebrate unity and peace. So I suggest you not scare people by transporting hundreds of soldiers halfway across the continent. I'm just being cautious. As am I. Which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses. And I believe can. they said that Crow. I am. Like in the earlier episodes, that Crow is Ruby's uncle? Ask yourself this Do you honestly believe your children can win a war? I'm gonna go with. I hope they never have to. No. <laughs> Like I get to fly right over your Earth eye and attack your walls directly. <laughs> you fiend! And since Atlas is part of Mantle, my repair time only lasts one turn. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, sis. But you just activated my trap card. Uh oh. Giant Nevermore. If I roll a seven or higher, Fatal Feathers will slice your fleet in two. But if you roll a six or lower, the Nevermore will turn on your own forces. That's just a chance I'm willing to take. <laughs> Nora. Uh, I have to say, Nora is probably my favorite character. <laughs> X-Ray Vav. Or Jav. Yeah, that says Jav. <clears throat> oh, poor Jean. That's just gonna be a thing I say from for the entirety of this thing. I I, I bet it's gonna be poor Jean. Absolutely no idea what's going on. Look, it's easy. You're playing as Vacuo, which means all Vacuo-based cards come with a bonus. That sounds dumb. See, you've got Sandstorm, Desert Scavenge. Oh, oh, Resourceful Raider. See, now you could take Ruby's discard Air Fleet. Duh. And 
put it in your hands. Okay. And since Vacuo Warriors have an endurance boost against natural hazards, you could use Sandstorm to disable my ground forces and simultaneously infiltrate my kingdom. Just know that I will not forget this declaration of war. And that means <laughs> you're just three moves away from conquering Remnant. <laughs> oh God! Give Weiss a little bit of power. She turns evil. Power as they pillage your homes and weep as they take your children from your very arms. Trap card. Huh? Your armies have been destroyed. I hate this game of emotions we play. These strong Weiss will make it through this together. Shut up! Don't touch me. All right, Blake, you're up. Huh? Oh, um. Sorry, what am I doing? You're playing as Vale, trying to conquer the kingdoms of Remnant. Right. Hey, can I play? Sorry, Jean, we've already got four people. Besides, this game requires a certain level of tactical cunning that I seriously doubt you possess. Uh, you attacked your own naval fleet two turns ago. Hmm. Bring it on, Ice Queen. I'll have you know that I've been told I'm a natural-born leader. By who? Your mother? And Pyrrha. Hello again. Clear <laughs> your hand for a turn. I'm not trusting you with the good citizens of Vacuo. Why not? You've trusted me with way more important stuff before. I mean, you told us all that Blake is secretly a fun-loving person, whom we all admire and respect. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she's like, oh, you told him, didn't you? That. Ladies? Because she's a faunus. Oh, hey, son. Ruby, oh. Yang, Blake, Ice Queen. Everyone keep calling me that. Because you're cold. I never got a chance to formally introduce you to my old friend. Uh, aren't libraries for reading? Thank you. Pancakes! <laughs> Stop, don't be a nerd. G -g 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 -g. <laughs> Intellectual, okay? Thank you. I'm Neptune. So, Neptune. Oh, Where are Neptune. you from? Haven. And I don't believe I've caught your name, uh -oh. Snow Angel. Um, I'm Weiss. Are you kidding me? Pleasure to meet you. I never took you as the board game playing type. Right. Well, I think I'm done playing, actually. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Women. Nora. <laughs> pancakes! Sometimes I like that, except instead of screaming about pancakes, I go, I scream bacon. Well, this has certainly been an eventful evening. So wake up, bacon! I'm sure that after a night of thwarting attempted robbery, you probably just want to go home and take a nap. But I love his cane. I was hoping that maybe we could have a chance to talk. Of course. Wonderful. As you know, in order to enroll at my academy, students must first pass Wonder what a it turns into. entrance exam. Most applicants spend years of preparation training at one of the many combat schools around the world. You are one of the few who did not. And you pass the exam with flying colors. I was raised outside the kingdoms. If you can't fight, you can't survive. Well, you have most certainly survived, Blake. I admire your drive, and I am proud to run a school that accepts individuals from all walks of life. Rich, poor, human, faunus. Ooh, he knows. Why do you wear that bow, Blake? Why hide who you are? You may be willing to accept the faunus, Professor Ozpin, but your species is not. True. But we are continuing to take strides to lessen the divide. With all due respect, you need to start taking some larger strides. Until then, I'd rather avoid any unnecessary attention. Oh, I, I want was, people to see me for who I am. I was gonna ask her why is she I still am. wearing the bow of people and are beginning are to figure you? it out. I I don't understand what you're asking. How did you know the White Fang would be at the shipyard tonight? I didn't. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. You wouldn't have been the first. But what happened tonight was not an isolated incident. I may be your headmaster, but I am also a huntsman. And it is my sworn duty to protect this world from the forces that conspire against it. Blake, are you sure there is nothing else you would like to tell me? I'm sure. Very well. Thank you for your time, Ms. Belladonna. I keep forgetting our last name you is Belladonna. to me. Please, don't hesitate to ask. Ugh, we should have never let him play. <laughs> You're just mad because the new guy beat you. Oh, Jean See, won. If you had just attacked when I told you, none of this would have happened. Stop. He's a natural tactician. Lately, you've been quiet, antisocial, and moody. Uh, have you met Blake? <laughs> Which I get is kind of your thing, but you've been doing it more than usual. Which, quite frankly, is unacceptable. You made a promise to me. 
to all of us that you would let us know if something was wrong. So, Lake Belladonna, what is wrong? What? <laughs> Ruby and Hagrid are standing back there like, what the hell just, just happened? I don't understand how everyone can be so calm. You're still thinking about Torchwick? Torchwick? The White Fang? All of it. Something big is happening and no one is doing anything about it. Ospin told us not to worry. Between the police and the Huntsmen, I'm sure they could handle it. Well, I'm not! They don't know the White Fang like I do. Yeah, I just... Okay. Between blowing up nightclubs, stopping thieves, and fighting for freedom, I'm sure the three of you think you're all ready to go out and apprehend these ne'er-do-wells. Uh, who? But let me once again be the voice of reason. We're students. We're not ready to handle this sort of situation. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> We're not ready. And we may never be ready. Our enemies aren't just gonna sit around and wait for graduation day. They're out there, somewhere, planning their next move, and none of us know what it is, but it's coming. Whether we're ready or not. Okay. All in favor of becoming the youngest hunter says to single-handedly bring down a corrupt organization conspiring against the kingdom of Vale. Oh say God, I that face. I love it when you're feisty. Well, I suppose it could be fun. None of you said I. I might need All to replay then. that a couple times. What, what Yang said there. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> like and feisty. Yeah. <gasps> I left my board game in the library. We're doomed. I'll be right back. Oh, oh God. Sorry. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Just watch where no. you're going. No. Right. Sorry. Um, I'm Ruby. Are you new? Visiting from Haven, actually. No. You stay out of this, bitch. Ooh, you're here for the festival. Oh, but exchange students have their own dormitory. I guess we just got turned around. <laughs> Don't worry, happens all the time. Uh, your building is just east of here. Thanks. Maybe we'll see you around. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, and welcome to Beacon! Oh. This is not gonna turn out good. I still have yet to see Nora, Ren, and Jean's assemblance, but I, I I think Jean's assemblance is either he's got a very strong aura or he is a really good tactician. Those are the two thoughts that I have for Jean's assemblance. Please support the official release. That was Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 2. My name is Swaverly, and if you liked what you saw, set that like button free. And if you want to check out more videos, please visit the channel. Oh man, I'm so excited to get back into this. I've been holding off on it for a couple weeks now, and I was just like, I want to watch more Ruby, but I can't because I don't know if I'm allowed to record and post it on YouTube or not. Ah! Anyway... I will see you and all of your beautiful faces in the next video, so, laters. Let the base go!